Tonight, a new open-air stadium for Birmingham is closer to reality with a financial plan being revealed to city leaders today. Council members are expected to vote on setting aside money for this project during next week's meeting. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark's live in downtown where that stadium may soon stand. Michael? Yeah, that's right. Mayor Randall Woodfin is proposing the city commit $3 million each year over a total of 30 years for the private public partnership that he hopes will bring more tourism dollars downtown, money that could be spent on revitalizing city neighborhoods. Birmingham skyline could soon feature a new open air stadium. This is a de full definition of public private partnership. Mayor Randall Woodfin showed counselors a 1965 newspaper to demonstrate how long discussions have gone on. He's proposing the city commit $3 million a year for 30 years to upgrade and expand the BJCC, Legacy Arena, and build the stadium. My number one priority is mayor's naval revitalization for our entire city. By investing downtown, Woodfin hopes to bring in more tourism and revenue, money he says will go to a neighborhood revitalization fund. Whether it's street paving, whether it's um, new housing development, whether it's getting rid of dilapidated structures. The stadium would host UAB football games, the Magic City Classic, Birmingham's Bowl Game, and other big events. It's a central location, you know, uh, Legion Field is you know, seeing it's time, but uh, it's kind of worn down now. The mayor says the city will still invest in Legion Field and the surrounding Smithfield neighborhood. So far, Council President Valerie Abbott likes the plan, though she's heard others in past administrations. This is the first proposal that I've ever seen that actually includes private contributions as well as taxpayer money. And I think that's a really big deal for me personally. Construction is expected to bring in more than five million in revenue. And once the project is finished, leaders estimate the city could see almost $10 million each year. This new revenue allows us to support and invest in real neighborhood revitalization. Now, you heard partnership. This is not just the city, the BJCC Authority, the Jefferson County Commission, as well as UAB and some corporate community partners have also pledged to be a part of this project. Council meets Tuesday, February 6th. For now, reporting live, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.